Yo, what's good everybody? Got another beers with Barton. It is Friday, August 20th, 2021. Hope everyone had a great week. It's ready for the weekend. Um, if you watched my last video, you may notice something different between that one and this is that the view is just a little bit different. Uh, last video was done this Tuesday. A few days ago, uh, we were in St. John's and that was a view um, from our uh, the house we were renting, the pool we were in, of the ocean and the islands just behind us. Um, we were living it up. Uh, we're not there anymore. We came home Wednesday um, and I'm gonna tell you, St. John's was a once in a lifetime chance is what I would say, uh, but I plan on going back. It was that amazing. Um, it's a first in a lifetime chance, I guess, is the way I'd put it. Um, but what an adventure. We got to uh, just experience so much amazing food. Um, <clears throat> got to go out on a, uh, a boat. We chartered a boat on Saturday. Took us all around actually the entire island. Went to a couple of coves, did some snorkeling, swam with sea turtles. Um, it was just breathtaking. Um, rented some Jeeps and uh, drove around the island. Uh, the island I believe is uh, 18 miles or 16 miles long and two miles wide, I believe. Um, cause St. Thomas is nine miles long and four miles wide, I believe. Uh, if you don't know much about St. Thomas, uh, or, or, or St. John's, um, look it up. It's pretty cool. The U S um, it's a U.S. uh, Virgin Islands, U S territory. I actually purchased it from the Danish, the Danes back in 1916, I believe. Um, obviously not for any resources, um, but really just for, uh, strategic placement during World War, um, one, because um, it was closer to uh, Europe, so I'm sure they maybe used it for, uh, you know, Army. I know St. Thomas, they did for sure. Um, our taxi driver that drove us from the airport to our water taxi shared some stuff, so there's lots of Army stuff. More on St. Thomas. The same on St. John's. So anyways, great experience. Um, but uh, so you drive on the left-hand side of the road instead of the right, which was different. But since it's U.S., it's been over 100 years, they are U.S. vehicles. So you have the steering wheel on the left-hand side. But instead of driving and you're against the, uh, you know, the median, median on a two-way road, you're up against the shoulder. So it's different. But they have stickers that say keep left. The roundabouts were, were definitely an adventure. But uh, what an amazing experience. Got home Wednesday evening. And then it was back to reality on Thursday. Uh, back to work for Jessica and I. Um, I'm lucky enough to not be going into the office. Jessica is. Um, but laundry, trying to clean the house, uh, you know, get Potter back into a routine and, uh, you know, run to the grocery store and all that good stuff, uh, which Michaela and I did yesterday at lunch. And uh, for a little added uh, flair, uh, Michaela actually noticed uh, my rear left tire on the passenger side. She usually rides on the passenger side in the back seat. It's completely flat coming out of the grocery store. I have no idea because we, we actually drove the uh, truck and parked it uh, for our trip. We drove home fine Wednesday, so I'm assuming picked it up um, a nail. Anyways, drove over to the gas station, tried to fill the air, didn't hold any air. Luckily, we're you know right down the street from the house, got home, and uh, I have a spare. It's a truck, it's a full size spare, um, and it's a spare from 2002, so it's never been used from the original one, and it's quite an adventure to. Get the spare down to like a pulley system in the back. It took me a while to, to not only figure it out, but also get it down. And then uh, this little bitty jack to uh, jack it up and change the tire. So it took me over an hour of actual work, probably two hours kind of back and forth, um, you know, trying to work and uh, trying to get the tire changed. Uh, we had open house last night. It was quite an adventure, uh, but we got it there. And my buddy at Goodyear, Tim, which I take the trucks to, um, was able to get some tires for me and actually get uh i need new tires anyway my, my old tires were just about done so this was ready to do it anyway and um luckily uh supply chain is tough finding tires but he found me four uh which was an adventure because since my truck's a 2002 um not a ton of uh tires are made that are that size it's a 16 inch wheel i believe and most tires now are 17 or even 18s bigger ones are 20s um, so my size tire is basically what's on Jess's car, 16 inch rim, but those tires are not made for trucks. So the ride would not have been great. So this is rated an eight out of 10. Um, I got a pretty good deal on it, uh, pretty much for sale because they don't move that fast, but brand new good tires and, um, should last me 60 plus thousand miles. It's probably another 10 years in that truck. I don't drive it much, but, uh, anyways, all of that is in the past. Uh, that's not what this is about. We're looking towards the future. And uh, the future is here because it's almost fall, guys. And what does that mean? What does fall mean? 
school starts, it's crisp and cool. Ignore that, it's 90 right now. We're talking in a month or so. It's almost September, it's fall, the weather gets cool, football's on. What do you do in the fall? You wear cool sweaters, uh, you know, cool beanies. Um, you know, you go apple picking, you frolic through open fields. Your wife makes you wear, the family wear matching outfits to take pictures for the Christmas card, all that great stuff. It's amazing, can't wait for it. Um, most importantly though, it's Oktoberfest time, baby. Uh, yesterday when I was at the store, I saw this, they've got a huge display. There's Sierra Nevada, there's Sam Adams, there's uh, Goose Island, uh, uh, Clawhammer. Um, I'm sure I'm missing a, a bazillion Oktoberfest. Um, wasn't ready to buy any uh, because again, I'm trying not to keep beer in the house that often. I don't drink that much, but also um, trying to dry out a little bit. I uh, drank every day on vacation for eight straight days. A lot of bourbon, good amount of rum, and a ton of good Caribbean beer. So wanted to dry out a bit. Um, but after yesterday, I had to run back to the store today, amongst other things, after getting the tires put on this morning and uh, grab uh, some stuff for the dinner we had planned to make tonight that Michaela and I made. Um, and I was like, I'm getting a six pack. Grab some Pumpkin King as well that Jessica loves. So we're looking forward, guys. It's to the future. Um, if any of you guys know me that well, you guys know I love Sam Adams. Um, Oktoberfest, I think it's the best Oktoberfest out there. It's five out of five stars for me. And it's not because it's the best flavor. I think it's a great flavored beer, full uh, flavored beer, smooth, solid, full flavored, five out of five. But it's because it's lighter than most Oktoberfests. It's still got a ton of good flavor, that good multi caramely hopness. But I think it's at about a five and a half percent. Uh, 5.3, only 16 IBU, so obviously no bitterness. Um, you can drink a ton. Uh, my opinion may differ a little bit this year because I don't plan on drinking anywhere near what I used to. Uh, so I won't drink six or eight of these in a night. I'll drink maybe one or two. So I may be uh, trying some different Oktoberfests this year since I'm drinking way less um, that maybe are better flavored. There are probably some that are better flavored, but are a little heavier. Um, anyways, this one is still uh, my number one, my go-to. I can drink it all day. Can't wait till it starts getting out there off tap so it was time for me uh fantasy football is here i've already started drafts did mine a couple weeks ago and i've got i think i'm in 11 leagues this year so i've done two so i've got nine left eight or nine left and i'm ready for it i'm ready for the fall weather to wear long sleeves and uh you know hopefully my long sleeves will fit better uh since i've lost some weight so cheers sam adams friday night um and i uh, hope everyone's ready for a wonderful weekend i'm actually going to the panthers game tomorrow um, i got some tickets uh from an old vendor I used to work with at Lowe's and uh, his personal tickets. Um, so he gave me four. So I'm uh, taking a, a buddy of mine I play softball with and uh, meeting some uh, some of my other buddies. Uh, I used to work at Lowe's together uh, with the other two tickets and then some other that are just going to be there as well. So it's going to be a good night tomorrow at 7. It is the Panthers. That's the only bad thing. But uh, it's football. It is preseason. But, um, you know, we're going to go have a couple beers before, enjoy the game, and uh, – make an evening out of it. So again, cheers. Cheers to St. John's, but we're looking forward. Cheers to the fall. Cheers to the wonderful weather. Um, huh. He even says it on the cap. Cheers. So got to do it. Well, we'll see if I can chug one of these, but um, again, hope everyone's having a great weekend and uh, cheers to fall. Cheers to football. Cheers to cooler weather. I know I'm ready for that. And uh, cheers to the future, right? We're always looking forward. Never looking back, uh, you know, fond memories, of course, but always looking to the future. Cheers. Oh, man, it smells so good. Oh, man. Holy moly. Had to stop after a second, A, because I'm already pretty full, which is sad, I know, but first beer of the day. And, uh, but man, that is just, it's such a good flavor. I really do enjoy this. I hope it's on tap everywhere in the world because I'll get one everywhere. So, cheers. All right. Down the hatch it went. I'll be drinking water for the rest of the night. All right, guys, cheers. Until next time, deuces.